Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists have captured the first detailed microscopic evidence of what may be the smallest possible forms of life. The life forms are ultra-small bacteria. They have an average volume of 0.009 microns. About 150,000 of them could fit on the tip of a human hair. Despite their size, the bacteria are highly structured, containing densely packed spirals of what is probably genetic material, a number of ribosomes, and hair-like fibers radiating from the surface. There is no consensus on the lower size limit of a life form, but these bacteria are actually smaller than some estimates. The bacteria are from three phyla, WWE3, OP11, and OD1, that lack cultivated representatives. They were filtered from groundwater, collected in Colorado, and studied at UC Berkeley's Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. The paper describing these ultra-small bacteria is published in the journal Nature Communications. Next up, new research may help to explain why the observable universe is made of matter instead of antimatter. Physicists at UCLA propose that the dominance of matter over antimatter is due to the Higgs field, the existence of which was established with the discovery of the Higgs boson, which was confirmed two years ago. It's theorized that in the moments following the Big Bang, there existed nearly equal amounts of matter and antimatter but there was just a bit more matter, an extra particle per 10 billion. When the matter and antimatter interacted and annihilated each other, this tiny excess amount of matter remained. And it is from that matter that all the galaxies, stars, planets, and other material objects of the universe are made, including us. The UCLA researchers suggest that this asymmetry favoring matter over antimatter resulted from the Higgs field being much larger following cosmic inflation and subsequently relaxing to its present value. The paper is published in the journal Physical Review Letters. Finally, some potential good news for those of you who suffer from migraines. A new treatment has been demonstrated to provide significant sustained relief from chronic migraines. The minimally invasive treatment is called image-guided intranasal SPG blocks. It involves inserting a catheter into the nasal cavity and administering a lidocaine solution directly to the sphenopalatine ganglion, a nerve cluster associated with migraines. This breaks the migraine cycle, offering immediate relief for some and a temporary reduction in the severity of migraines that follow. The day after treatment, a test group of 112 migraine sufferers reported headaches half as severe as before treatment. 88% of those also reported needing less or no medication to relieve the pain of their migraines. The treatment was developed and tested by doctors at Albany Medical Center and the State University of New York Empire State College, and the results were presented at the annual scientific meeting of the Society of Interventional Radiology. Researchers capture the first microscopic evidence of what might be the tiniest organisms on Earth. Physicists propose an explanation for why the universe we see is made of matter instead of antimatter, and doctors test a new treatment that could bring relief to those who suffer from chronic migraines. That's the good news. Adi says, when are they going to introduce a treatment to relieve cats who suffer from chronic humans? Isn't that right?